Alrighty. Hello. So for those that don't know me, my name is Sarah and I am the strength and conditioning coach for Seneca College. Today we are going to be doing a hit class and it's going to be just under 30 minutes, including warm up and cool down, but it is going to get the blood blowing, the heart pumping. If you feel dizzy, sick, nauseous, at any point during the workout, stop and do not continue until those symptoms are completely gone away. Take breaks as needed. And I suggest wearing running shoes just because for anything jumping, anything that has to do with plyometrics, it's good to have a little bit extra support on the feet. And that is pretty much it, I think. We can get this party started. So if you have a Fitbit or a Apple Watch, as I type mine, we are going to turn on high intensity interval training. If you don't have that, which you should, you're gonna turn on, um, you'll turn on a cardio workout. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're gonna be doing some squats, some squat jumps, those are gonna be hard, some push-ups, mountain climbers, lunges, butt kicks, and jumping jacks. So it's only, it's gonna be um, eight exercises, but we're only gonna, we're gonna consider those sets uh, three times each, okay? Some good stuff, really uh, basic exercises, but it's good quality exercises. Let me turn on some music. So we're gonna start with a warm up of just marching on the spot for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna go into high knees, and then I'm gonna put on a playlist for you. A-list pop, let's hope it's good. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, let's get started. Marching on the spot. In three, two, one, go. So drive the knees up and toes flexing towards the knee. Good. 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 Keep marching. We're going to go into a high knee jog for 30 seconds. Let's go. I'm driving my knees up to head height, right? Then we're going into step with the blue five, four, three, two, one. So step touch. Good. Big wide step. Drive the foot to the other leg or other foot. So we're getting to get some arms in there too. Good. 30 seconds of these. Here we go into jumping jacks for 30 seconds and then squats. And that's our warm up. Starting some butt kicks. I lied. <laughs> Good. Ready? Let's go. Jumping jacks. If you cannot do jumping jacks, you're going to go step out. Okay? Keep going. 10 seconds into squats. Good. Let's go squat. So feet about a little bit wider than hip width apart if you want. I'm going to take it to a pillow. I hurt my ankle. Which again, so this lets me get a little bit deeper without feeling a little ankle. 30 seconds of squat. And then 30 seconds of butt kicks. Squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward as you come. Up. 
Good, butt kicks for 30 seconds. our first set. So the first set is going to be, sorry guys, there's four exercises. So yeah, yeah, no, I did see that. Four exercises. We're going to do a high knee jog for 30 seconds. Sorry. High knee jog for 30 seconds. Then we go squats for 30 seconds. Now we're going to squat, jump, and then push up. So 30 second intervals, going right into it, no breaks, so we rest for 45 seconds. And repeat that set two more times, all right? Let's go. I need job. 30 seconds. We'll start in 20 seconds. So for the squat jump, you're coming down, squat up, jump. Okay? Only go at the pace that you can handle. This is about keeping a steady pace. Here we go. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. High knees. Challenge yourself, right? So you don't want to just be chilling. You want to feel the heart rate up. Good, 10 more seconds into squats. I will be doing the sumo squat you can do if you like. Good, squats. So from the side, what that looks like. Right? The butt is coming down. Driving to the back of the wall. Squeeze the glutes. Good, almost done. Into squat jump from 10, 9, 8, 7. Good. To, to squat jump. The squat jump. These are gonna get hard. Push the ground away. Let's go. Five more seconds. Two, one, good. Push up, let's go. Chest touches floor. Elbows to back of room. I just hit my head against the floor. Good. Keep going. Spread the fingers wide. Good, guys. Five more seconds. Last one. Good. That's hard. I'm sweating. Good, so with the push-ups and during our break, get some water. So with the push-ups, what I want you to do is keep the elbows pointing to the back of the room. If you're doing modified, they're hard. Modified are hard. So your butt has to come down as if you're in a plank position, right? So not our butts are up, going down. Our hands should be right beside our chest. So to come down, come down, up. Got it? All right, guys. Ready? Starting in three, two, one, and go. High knees. Okay, five seconds into squats. Two, one, right into squats. Let's go. If you have weights, you can hold the weight, hugging it, or two dumbbells on your shoulders. Good. 
Good, 10 more seconds, here we go. Squat jumps. Here we go. Get ready. And go. Use your arms. Help yourself. Good. Ten seconds. Let's go. Push. Get on the floor. Push up. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Almost done. Good. 45 seconds of a break. And then one more second. I'm done. Good job, guys. Push yourself. Last set of these guys. And then we're going into oh, mountain climbers. Those are hard. Reverse lunge, alternating butt kicks, jumping jacks. A lot of plyos. Okay, here we go. Let's drink the water and then we'll get started. Push yourself through. It's a short workout. We push for about 25 minutes and then we're done, but we burn loads of calories. Here we go, three, two, one, high knees. Let's go. Pin my screen. 
three, two, one. Let's go. Drive your knees. Core tight. 30 seconds. And a nice pace. My bum's not up to your right. Right down low. We're just like in a plank. Go push. Almost done. <laughs> the first exercise. <laughs> Let's go. Three, two, one, up. Reverse lunges. Step down, up. Step down, up. Keep your chest tall. Knees over top of the toe. Can you not keep the back knee coming down? It's parallel with the floor. Good. 10 more seconds. Good. Number one inch of jumping jacks. Let's go. And then butt picks. Hands come all the way up, not to here, all the way. Let's go into butt kicks. So, kick right to the butt. More than halfway done the workout, guys. Only two more sets of these. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good job, guys. If you could do mountain climbers faster than me, all the power for you. Speed it up. I think it's time to change this, so. Good. Quick drink water so we get it. So we're with those lunges too. Don't lean slowly. We gotta keep our chest tall and our core tight, squeezing the glutes. And when you step up, you wanna push. When you're pushing, with the back heel of your front foot. So when I'm in that lunging position and I'm here, I'm pushing in with the back of my foot to step up. What that does is that activates glutes and hamstrings a little more. All right. Let's get it. Two more. What is that sound? All right, three, two, sneeze ah, on. Here we go. One and go. Gosh, I picked the slowest song. You keep going, keep going. I gotta get a sound here, guys. Keep going. Good, 10 more seconds. Come on, drive, drive. Two, one and up. Good, reverse lunges, here we go. Good. And push with that front heel. If you have weights, you can use them. Ten more seconds. Right into jumping jacks. Three, two, and go. Keep your core tight. Right into buckets in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, let's go. No, kicking her butt. Nice and quick. Right on our toes. We're 
Bounty. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Let's go, guys. A little bit quicker. And the last. Oh. Good, guys. Awesome job. We're almost done. One more set of this. All right. Nice little cool down. One more set. We might finish off on a little ab blaster. About one minute of abs, 30 seconds. You have one exercise, 30 seconds of other because I love the core. Love taxing the core. All right, guys. Last that strong set, I always say that. Let's give it everything we got. Anything left in that gas tank? We're gonna get rid of it. Right until we can't move anymore. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, and go. A little bit faster. A little bit stronger. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Ten seconds. Come on, push. We get stronger the more we push through the pain. Good. Reverse lunges. Let's go. Learn to love the bird. Come on, 10 more seconds. And then jumping jacks. I'm back here. A little bit quicker with these jumping jacks. Here we go, let's go. Go. So back, here's on the floor. 
You could even put your hands behind the nape of your back. Good. Squeeze the core. Almost done. Four, three, two, one. And down. Oh, good job, guys. Let's get a quick cool down. We're going to take our legs nice and wide well, like a butterfly. Or well, you can lay there. And what you can do is you can grab the inside of your leg and pull it down. Okay. And then we're going to just chill out there. As we pull the knees down to the side, stretching out that inner groin area. And now we're going to take our knees together. We're going to windshield wipe our both of our knees together from side to side. About three times each side. Nice and slow. Good. One more time each side. Keep these arms glued down to the ground. Don't feel that stretch in the low back. Into the obliques if you're really tight. And those hips, hug your knees into your chest. Get a little rock like a baby from side to side. Massage the spine. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do an upper body stretch. Because even though we think it's lower body, we did a lot of upper with those jumping jacks and the push ups. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in a tabletop position. So, just like mountain climbers, our wrists are directly below our shoulder joint. So you want everything stacked, that's a stacked position, right? So the joint is supported by the knee directly underneath, just like a foundation of a building. You gotta think that with our body. So we're gonna take this hand underneath and we're gonna drive it as far as we can, crawling that hand as far as we possibly can. Head can come to the ground and just reach and sit in this position. And you should feel a big stretch into that rotator cuff, that whole shoulder blade. Good, reach a little bit farther. Good, come back up and look up to the sky. Follow your eyes with your hand. Good, come back down. We're gonna go other side. So reach under and stretch. Let me just fix my shirt, sorry. And reach, 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 reach just a little bit further. Side of your face may come down to the palm of your hand. We wanna feel a really big stretch right into here. This whole shoulder. Good, now we're gonna come up. We're gonna follow our eyes with our hand. Follow our hand with our eyes. Don't we can ever say that right. Good, come down. Then we're gonna go into a child's pose. We're gonna sit our butt onto our heels. You can spread our legs really wide if you want. We're gonna reach forward, stretching out our little back. And we're gonna do two more stretches. Then you're gonna come back up into a tabletop position. So we're gonna dig our toes into the ground. We're gonna tighten up our core. And then we're gonna spread our feet, hands a little bit wider, about shoulder width apart. And then we're gonna go into a downward dog. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our butt up to the sky. We're gonna drive our heels down to the floor. And then what I want you to do is I want you to bend one knee at a time, drive the heel down towards the floor. This stretches out our hamstrings and our calves. Good, let your head get heavy. Shake it, yeah, shake it, no. Oof. It's nice traction, letting the spine kind of elongate. Okay, now we're gonna walk our hands up to our feet as far as you can go, without bending your knees. And if you can't go far, that's totally fine. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our hands to our toes. You can have a slight bend in the knees. And I want you to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Your head's gonna come flat. We're gonna move back away as you can see. So you're gonna roll up nice and slow. Head comes up last. Roll your shoulders down and back. Head comes a nice half circle from one side. The other side, grab your hands behind you, stretch out the chest. Take your one hand and pat it on the back. Good job. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a fabulous day. Catch me for core work on Friday. Ciao. Cool.